Hello and welcome to our project. We are working on an automated black soldier fly incubator. My name is Munasha Dominik Nyazenga and I've been working with Daniel Katerina Moshi. Here is a quick demo of the system. It is designed to switch automatically between solar and grid power sources. It has green and red indicators for solar and grid respectively as well as LCD and some switches. Let's open and see some of the internal compartments. As seen, when the egg door button is pressed on the application at the right side, it opens the egg door in the system and drops the newly hatched lava into the feeding compartment. When the aeration motor is turned on, it stirs to provide aeration and uniform mixture of the organic waste substrate. Currently, there is no enough waste in the container. However, that's how it works. Likewise, when the infrared lamp is pressed, the lamp comes on. They have a characteristic called wandering, hence they move away to this other side of the incubator when they are grown. Here, they can either fall into the pupating or the harvesting container. There's a light bulb here that provides lightning. The user can also drop their organic waste through this other side. When they are ready for harvesting, it reports to the user the weight collected and the user pulls it through this side door to feed their chicken or fish. Here is the electrical system. It has a battery to store the solar energy, power supply to connect to grid, and an automatic changeover system between the two sources. It has connection for sensors and actuators. And here is also the two solar panels that are connected in series. And this is the complete Black Soldier Fly incubator. Here is a web dashboard. Uh, which consists of a control panel to control the various actuators in the farm. We also have some environmental conditions showing as readings and as graphs. We also have several pages for the environmental conditions to show the readings, uh, the lowest temperature, mean temperature, high temperature, and also their graphs. We also have a calendar feature on the web dashboard to help the farmer keep track of the life cycle of the black soldier fly. So they can keep track of where they start the rearing where they input their waste, where they, are, where, where they collect their lava, and also where they collect their fertilizer. This can uh, help them uh, focus any future events and keep track of the number of days in between each milestone. Here is a separate page on the web dashboard which shows a live video feed uh, from the feeding chamber. Uh, the camera will be pointing in the feeding chamber to show the lava and also uh, we're using computer vision techniques to help determine if the lava is healthy based on their activity or motion in the organic waste. So from the calculations we made we realized that healthy lava usually wiggles at a rate of above 2 centimeters per second which is the frame rate. So as you can see from the video showing the lava uh, when computer vision techniques have been used on the video, it is very healthy as the average speed at which they are wiggling is above 2 cm per second. Here are some of the benefits of our project. The Black Soldier Fly has two main byproducts, which is the high protein feed on the left and the fast fertilizer on the right. The high protein feed is the larva or the pupa, which constitutes of about 42% of protein and can be used to feed chicken, fish, or pigs. On the right, we have the fast fertilizer, which is as a result of the breakdown of the organic waste and can be used as manure and for soil amendments in farming. That being said, thank you very much for listening to our presentation. You can scan the QR code on your screen to view our website. You can also ask any questions on the link provided on the website and also provide any feedback or any assistance whatsoever uh, to help move our project forward. Thank you.